Hi, Andrew. There's two different ways, or there's two good ways to create a parametric cube within SOLIDWORKS. I'll go ahead and create a sketch on the front plane and just draw in a rectangle. And then if we control select the two sides, we can make those equal, which you probably know already. And I'll give this a dimension of one inch. Then I'm going to go ahead and create an extruded feature and we'll set this to one inch as well. Now the first way we can make this parametric is using linked values. So make sure the instant 3D is turned on here so that when you click on a face the dimensions come up. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on the dimension here and come down to the pull down in the modify dialog and choose link value and we're just going to give this a name of side and click OK. Now all we have to do is double click on the extruded dimension here and we can go down to link value and choose that side option. So that's the first way to do it. Now if I update this to two inches for example and rebuild all three dimensions are going to be two inches. I'll go ahead and delete out the sketch and the extrusion. And the next thing I'm going to do is come into the options, go to the Feature Manager tab, and I'm going to turn on the Equations folder. Then I'm going to go ahead and right click and say Add Equation. And I'm just going to do something like A equals 1. Then I'll go ahead and create another sketch on the front plane. Once again, create a rectangle and give that equal relations. Then I'll go ahead and give this a dimension. And then in the modified dialog, we're going to use add equation. And we just want to do D1 at sketch 3 is equal to A in quotes. And that'll make that 1 inch. Then I can once again come into the extruded boss base. Doesn't really matter what that dimension is for now. And once again, if we click on the side and double click on that dimension, I can add another equation, and I'll make this equal to A. Now if you come into the Equations folder and say Edit Equation, select the A equals 1, and if we modify this to 2, that'll update the entire cube. So hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions, Andrew.